gnarled in inhospitable volcanic landscapes, colorful and stunning displays of the strangest variations of life, a man, his ship, and a discovery that changed the face of science and the course of history forever, the Galapagos. But all those beautiful creatures, and all that land rising craggy from the waters of the Pacific, and the theory of evolution which irrevocably changed the face of science and our perception of the natural world, they only represent one side of the Galapagos. To think, if Darwin could have seen what lies below. The waters that surround the Galapagos archipelago are the point of convergence for several ocean currents, and as such, they teem with even more incredible species, nearly one-fifth of them endemic to the region. Marine iguanas, fur seals, coral beds of stunning beauty, and the most northern-dwelling penguins in the world. And one arrangement of life so strange, its entire existence was unproven until the 1970s, when Dr. Robert Ballard and his team made a discovery that just like Darwin's, changed our perception of life in the world. Deep below the ocean surface, beyond the reach of the sun's light, Dr. Ballard and his team discovered something fantastic among the hydrothermal vents of the Galapagos Rift, a landscape shaped by volcanic activity and spreading tectonic plates. Like hot springs on land, hydrothermal vents are places where volcanic activity heats water under the Earth's surface driving chemical reactions and eventually expelling the superheated mineral-rich water through the seafloor. There, among the vents, Dr. Ballard and his team discovered giant tube worms and other creatures living by means of chemosynthesis, using chemicals released by the vents as the fuel for life. In an environment so harsh, so toxic, that their very existence expanded our understanding of the resilience and adaptability of life on Earth. It opened new pathways for research at the Galapagos and other sites like it, which have been discovered and studied in the years since, and it may even offer clues to the mystery of life on other worlds. The true marvel of the creatures of the Galapagos is not in their stunning colors nor their specialized behaviors, but in their adaptability and the way they have responded to a changing environment. That phenomenon is the source of their amazing attributes and fodder for the discoveries of science and it is the impetus for the return of Dr. Ballard and his team aboard EV Nautilus now underway to find which things have changed, which have remained the same, and which new wonders of biology have arisen as a result. Follow the journey on nautiluslive.org.